we came over this year to try to make a difference and I, I suppose the thing to say about it, it's, it's a bit cliched, is they've made a difference to us. And we've seen sites here that would make your toes cool, you know, you just, it's in a situation where you just go back and say, man, we're lucky just to be able to go to the tap and get a drink, we'll not walk three miles to get a, you know, bring back a, a, a water on the top of your head. The fact that we were actually here and we were part of, of the actual build, is, 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 yeah. is, it, was, it was incredible for us. If you love rugby, you know, and if you love people, maybe give away the week in Lanzarote or something, maybe give away the holiday, come out here, experience firsthand, because you will go back a better person, you will go back a changed person, you'll go back someone that appreciates what you have more, and if that's all we can do, maybe bring out, you know, 20 people next year, we can build four houses, and we can make a real difference, because I'm telling you, when the key is passed over, there's a lump in your throat that big, just to see what four concrete walls and a concrete slab floor and a bit of corrugated iron means to these people. It's brilliant for the rest of their lives. We're changing yeah. lives through rugby. And if yeah. you're a rugby supporter, if you're a rugby player, if you're an ex-rugby coach, if you're someone out in St. Mary's, Contar, Bruff or whatever, like, come along, you know, give something back to, to, to someone else in need and through rugby and through a love of rugby and a sport because sport does unite the world and, you know, making a difference does as well.